A recent study found those with Alzheimer's showed signs of the disease up to nine years before ever receiving a diagnosis. So now some doctors are saying it is super important to recognize the signs early for early intervention. So what exactly should you be watching at for in your loved ones? Bridget Ellison is standing by now to ask a doctor. Ask a Doctor is sponsored by Conviva Primary Care for Seniors. We know many viewers may be thinking about things like dementia or Alzheimer's, especially when it comes to our loved ones or even for ourselves. Uh, it's always a good idea to watch out for some of those early indicators for early intervention. That's why we have Dr. Tamika Haynes Robinson, a neuropsychologist with Orlando Health, joining us this morning. Thank you, doctor, for coming in. Good morning. Thank you for inviting me. When we think about dementia and Alzheimer's, there is a difference. Uh, can you explain that to the viewers? Of course. Well, if you want, you can think of dementia as an umbrella, and all umbrellas have spokes, and each spoke is a different type of dementia. So Alzheimer's type dementia is one of an array of different kinds of dementia that you can find. And when do you see indications that there might be something that needs to be checked? What, what should we look out for? Well, in the early stages, and just to be clear, dementia of all the different sorts is mm -hmm. really the end of a process or nearing the end of a process that likely began maybe up to 15, 25 years before. Mm. So it's very difficult in the early stages to detect. However, there are small, subtle changes in functioning, daily functioning that you can pay attention to. Some of these involve small things such as trying to remember future events, things and tasks and errands that you have to do in the future if you notice difficulty remembering that. Um, fluid reasoning, uh, once where you were able to multitask and figure out problems really, really quickly. Now it's taking a little bit longer. Sometimes it's really puzzling to figure out things. Some of the things that you may already have known how to figure out. Um, there are going to be other small uh, changes, maybe your attention span is a little bit worse than it used to be, concentration uh, is more difficult for you, and just how quickly you're able to comprehend and take part even in something like a regular conversation. And so what is the first thing people should do if they or someone they love seems to be exhibiting some of these issues? It comes to you first, or what would be the steps they need to take? Well, the standard route is your primary care physician and then referral to a neurologist. And then usually a neurologist would refer to me or another, a neuropsychologist. And so what happens when we get to your office? Well, um, that's a good question. So in my office, what we do is functional testing to see if what is happening to you is normal aging. And by the way, dementia is not normal. People think that once you pass a certain age, you're bound to have dementia. It's actually quite abnormal. Um, so we have normal aging, we have mild cognitive impairment, and then we have dementia. Um, as one of the avenues that you could potentially go down when we are doing the testing. And so the neuropsychological assessment is really to differentiate normal aging from psychological distress, from mild cognitive impairment, and what dementia would potentially look like. So how can we combat it? Is there you know, a significant impact that you can make by catching it earlier and, and sort of staying on top of it? Well, to be sure, there are no, there's no cure for dementia at this point. We're really working hard on it. But because it begins so early, we really have to, the, the smart thing to do would be to prevent it as much as you can, especially if you don't have like a genetic risk for it. Right. Um, through diet, exercise, sugar is highly inflammatory, and they're mm -hmm. now looking at the role of a high sugar diet and high salt diet, mm. of course. They're looking at lifestyle. We've always looked at lifestyle, chronic lifestyle illnesses like diabetes, um, hypothyroidism. Um, and then there are other small things that you can do to make sure your diet and exercise is on point. Make sure that you're getting all of your vitamins, including B12. Make sure that your diet is rich in veg fresh fruits and vegetables, lean meats. Um, try and cut down on your carbohydrate intake. And also making sure that your exercise is not just walking. You need to do a variety of different kinds of exercises, including weight-bearing exercises, mm. and make sure the weights are increasing as you go along. Those are the things you definitely have control of every single day. And then, of course, there's medication. But medication is really trying to slow the disease process. There is no cure. 
So, Doctor, I know recently this week, Chris Hemsworth, who plays Thor mm -hmm. in our movies and so many other roles, was tested as part of a show he was working on. And so the genes that show that you may have a marker for Alzheimer's in the future showed up in his makeup from the genes he got from both parents. Right. What's happening with the testing process right now? Well, um, those tests that he did are highly uh, specialized and of course they would have to be ordered by a neurologist, especially if you mention that or talk about your family history in your consultation with them. But um, but it could, if you could get that test early enough, you could intervene you earlier. You could take and certain medications that might help you um, to slow the process down. You could also, because there's no cure once the disease has started, but it kind of goes and you kind of try and slow it down. But with um, Helmsworth's case, it's really he has a higher genetic risk. It doesn't mean for sure that he's right. going to get it, but he's like 12 times more likely to get right. it. So taking care of ourselves is important. Very, very important. Thanks, I can't doctor. stress that enough. Thank you for being here. Thank All you right. for having me. Back to you, ladies.